Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today this is going to be my first ever cleaning marathon. I decided to just put together all the videos, all the cleaning videos that I've done over the last seven months since I started YouTube and I'm just hoping that I can help someone out that needs that little bit of motivation today and sometimes when you're watching a cleaning video and then it gets to the end and you're just a bit like oh god and you just feel like you're just kind of starting to get into the the swing of things but this video will help you because i'll be along there cleaning alongside with you and just hopefully that i can keep you both you and myself going because i am needing some motivation today i'm not gonna lie so i'm hoping that this video will help me too and yeah just remember that you are great you're doing the best that you can life is a struggle at times but you know what we'll all get there we're all in this together and yeah let's just try and be as positive as we can and get those things done that we've been putting off and yeah let's just try our best and take care been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool oh man i think i might be going crazy cause all i really really want is to be with you and i'm like i'm saying we're just friends but thinking you're my So this Dr. Beckman's I think it is, I, I've never used it before and I think it's brilliant because I'm actually so used to getting my carpet cleaned out. Yeah so I'll not be doing that as often because it's a bit of a nightmare but this stuff is amazing but the only downfall is, but this is just a personal thing, it's just, a <coughs> excuse me I've got such a bad cough, is the smell. I've got the pet one, I don't actually have any pets but I sometimes quite like buying pet things because I've got toddlers but yeah. Um, it's just the smell's a little bit strong for me but then maybe I did use far too much because I kind of went a bit crazy once I started and I was getting all the stains that I've noticed for a few weeks so yeah but it wasn't too bad I'm just a bit funny with smells so it gave a bit of a sore head but I think it's amazing honestly it's brilliant Fetty's raining down 
You bash your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters isn't gold. I tell myself I don't need. So this is when I realised that one of my little girls is actually drew on my baby's little play thing here. <laughs> um, and I was just kind of like, oh my god, there was pen absolutely everywhere. Obviously. Uh, this was just when I was making dinner, so they have just took that opportunity and they have just went crazy. God, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I may maybe I should just stop talking. But yeah, I just can't believe it actually got pain because it was so hard to get it off their hands, so it was pretty good. <laughs> Microwave clean, you can't actually see it, but it was quite bad. Um, I don't know if it's, I think maybe I had made the girls' porridge that day, and I think it just kind of went everywhere. So I just gave that a quick clean, and it's like one of those jobs you always put off, but it literally takes you five minutes. So this is your sign to go and clean your microwave because it was, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Door, but I like it like that. We go 
and if you did please subscribe and give it a like and if you've already to subscribe thank you so much i really really appreciate it and i will see you in my next one bye Palm trees in the California sun. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be giving my room a very good deep clean as it's been needing it for quite a while. Um, I'm actually not going to speak too much in this video as I've got a bit of a sore throat and I don't know if maybe I'm just coming in for something, um, catching all the bugs off the kids. So, yeah hope you enjoy this video and if you do please like and subscribe i would really really appreciate it thanks so much bye bye and now my memory slowly coming back cracks a smile upon my face and then it all turns black something about tonight now it's gonna be your last And now my mind is a mess My heart is pounding fast Oh, I wish that you could stay I don't care about the other one I don't care about what you've done Oh, I wish that you could stay To get away But I'll make you promise me That you'll come back someday So let's make the most of it I remember what you said Up in the ferris wheel We're kissing in the shades Oh, I wish that you could stay
people knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone Cause she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies survived the wheel Even though she could knock down and never show Doesn't matter. Stumble across some memories. Try to recall before they all shatter. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before we rose. She kept dreaming of the day butterflies survive the wheel. Even though she could not down and never show.
sit on the grass Among the flowers We just let the days pass by People would tell us To get a grip of ourselves And get a job We didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger We used to sit on the grass And go damn I don't wanna grow old I wish I could turn back time mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 When we got older, we tried to stay in touch Ran away from us If I could go back Be 17 again Yeah, I would Just to see all my friends Running around the city Acting crazy like we used to do I wish I could turn back time Oh, ooh, ooh. Singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we went from home just to scare them We were free My channel. In today's video I'm going to be tackling a few rooms in my house that were really needing um, a bit of attention 
uh, I have actually four kids so as you can imagine it just doesn't stay tidy for long um, but I do definitely try and keep on top of it but it is a everyday battle. So this is actually my son's bedroom, he's 15. Um, he is actually usually quite good at keeping his room tidy but not on this occasion for some reason so I like to go in maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks and give it like a deep clean, change the bedding and things like that. So that's what I was doing in here um, and I actually realised at this point that he, his bed was actually broken underneath. Um, so he had his friends in the other day so I'm assuming that's when it happened, they were all carrying on so I'll either need to try and get a new one or maybe try and mend it, I don't know but yeah, teenagers eh? As you can see, Jaden's room is very small. The previous owners actually had this wall taken away and made just one big living room. Um, but obviously when we bought it, <coughs> sorry, um, we put the wall back up. So yeah, that's why there's patio doors in his bedroom because obviously the previous owners um, done that. So yeah, hopefully we'll be getting that changed in the future um, and putting the patio doors maybe in the living room. But for now, Jaden likes it. He enjoys it, it's where his friends go, come into his room and things like that, so yeah. I started using this Hoover I got from B&M about a month ago uh, and it's actually terrible, it's broke already. I did think it was still picking up but it does make a really loud noise so I gave up with that, just decided to use my Dyson. Before that I actually took the rug out of the garden and gave it a shake and I was actually so shocked at what came out of that, it was disgusting and I Hoover in here every single day so I decided to not put the rug back in his room the now. Um, I will give it a shampoo and clean it first um, and then put it back in but oh it was so bad To the living room which is an absolute disaster um obviously at this point i've got the two little girls with me to help so yeah but my partner is going to take the baby out so yeah it's just me and the girls and they love to help me clean but they also love to make a mess so yeah you feel like you're just kind of going around in circles <laughs> i 
and as you can see my kitchen is very very small it's tiny um, so it doesn't take long for it to become an absolute mess um, but yeah so yeah just going to quickly clean off the sides and clean up any dishes that I had and they seem to have piled up pretty quickly I would absolutely love a dishwasher but it's never going to happen in this size of kitchen unfortunately I've actually only started using a scrub daddy and oh my god it's a game changer. I can't believe it's took me so long to try it. We were holding on to something that we both know could and work so we should try to say goodbye. Wheels in motion 
So if you're wondering why I have bin bags on my little girl's mattress, it's actually um, to stop her from, like if she has any accidents during the night or whatever, to go onto the mattress. I do actually have a mattress protector, but I just feel like it wasn't good enough. So I've put these bags on it and it seems to be working quite good. So it's a little hack for you. So both of my little girls share a room um, and I'm actually thinking about rearranging this room. It's kind of, I'm getting to the point, it's just, I feel like there's just too much toys everywhere. So I'd like to kind of try and sort it out in a way that it doesn't look so cluttered. So if any of you have any ideas on what way I could make it a bit better storage-wise, any storage solutions, um, that would be really great. I'd really appreciate it. I, now I'm here once again and things that I forgot Just keep flooding by the memory video now i really hope that you enjoyed it and if it's uh, you like this kind of thing then please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it as i've only just started my channel and i would love for it to grow and make more videos as i'm really really enjoying it um yeah just all things cleaning related probably and some mum life feed in there so yeah thanks so much for watching bye got a dopamine rush got a majorly crush when you're next to me Got my heart upon my sleeve Can I hide the way I feel When you're next to me, girl? Got the kick in every move And I thought it's like a fool for you For you Wish I knew just what it was But why should I make a fuss? Just stay next to me, girl Next to me, girl Something special, don't know why Something special that I like about you Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a whole house clean with me. I've done every single room apart from my teenage son's room because that is his responsibility most of the time. I don't mind getting him once in a while and obviously deep cleaning it but today wasn't that day so I'm just starting off in my bedroom and yeah let's just get this done. I'm doing a lot of deep cleaning in this video in my kitchen because it was needing done badly so yeah. Hope you enjoy. Cause the best thing about it is I know I'm coming back. Oh, oh. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick. 
So I just decided to uh, sort out my drawers here as they just see we get so untidy so quickly. Like I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I sorted these out. But yeah, done that and actually got rid of some stuff. So that's quite good. I always feel good when I can get rid of things that I just don't wear anymore. Like why am I keeping it? It's time for you to go. So yeah, felt good about that. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you Been walking down the street so many times My feet know every breaking stone could wear a blindfold She came from kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances. When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love, that's how you know you've been in love to my little girl's bedroom they share a room uh, I've actually been moving this about a wee bit I've uh, changed Tolly's bed around the other way um, and put their doll's house moved it a little bit just to see if they can get a bit more room but yeah I'll probably change it again soon I'm quite bad for that I constantly move furniture about does anybody else do that so yeah giving us a quick clean put a motion away and see the amount of stuff I have to edit out because it's either a crying baby, a crying child, or a naked child. Like, do this, is, it, is this everybody? Does this happen to everyone? <laughs> like, yeah, mum life eh? oh, 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 Every morning laughter feels the same. I know I only have myself to blame. 
were drinking way too much I guess I got caught up Can someone make this headache go away? We were dancing in the dark With a feeling in our eyes Felt like we had it all We were dancing in The feeling in our eyes Felt like we had it all We were dancing in the dark We were dancing in the dark Wow, wow, wow So I decided it was time to clean my oven as I've not done it in quite a while as you can see. Uh, so I actually used this Mr Muscle Oven Cleaner. It says to spray it on and leave it, for, leave it for 30 minutes so that's what I've done. I went and done other stuff and then I came back to it but I just don't really rate it. It's Maybe my oven was just too dirty but I don't know. It wasn't the best. I prefer the other one you like put in a bag. I forget what it's called and like use the solution like that is amazing. I actually at one point even sprayed this on to like the trays, like the racks down in there. It's just, I didn't like it. It didn't really work that well. At one point I was literally using my pizza slicer <laughs> to like try and scrape it off. But I mean, it's got to be a lot better than what it was. So it definitely is better, but nah, it's not as good as when I use other stuff. So yeah, at least it's done now. That'll be me for another good six months.
What is your favourite thing to clean? Mine's is when I've done the whole kitchen and it's like so clean and spotless and you just clean your sink. Like that's my most favourite thing. I feel like, okay, my kitchen is complete now when I just clean the sink off or just clean it all. But do you, let me know, do you guys actually enjoy cleaning? I do sometimes. I can't say I enjoy it like every single day, the same thing over and over again, but see if like Sean takes the kids out for the day and I've got the day to myself, got the house to myself and I can just really clean and go, oh I love that, that's my favourite thing but again it doesn't happen very often but day to day I don't think I enjoy it that much, no. But I love a clean home, I love a clean and tidy house but I don't get it because obviously having four children it's just, you know, it's impossible but I know that it won't be like this forever. Um, so I just need to enjoy my kids while they're young, obviously, because there's more important things in life than a tidy house. But I do, it, makes, it gives me peace when I'm, my house is tidy. But yeah, what about you? What's your favourite thing to clean? I was about to give up because I'd been at this for like half an hour and I just wasn't getting anywhere. I actually do think there is a lot of like scrapes on it so obviously we've moved into this house just over a year ago so I don't know how long this has actually been in here but yeah I think it's very old. It works, it still works good though so obviously no need to replace it but yeah it is, it's, I think it's pretty old but just trying to give it a good clean as best I can.
a break, maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be. Beneath the starlit sky, our love secret line. Like leaves we soar so high Beneath the moonlight Self-touch your hand in mine It gets me every time
also come to the end of the video and this was like a full day clean so I was so tired after it but I just decided to run myself a bath even though it was like half 11 at night and yeah just get myself into bed and I was so tired but I'm so glad that it was done because I was putting off like the oven clean and things like that for ages so I'm just so happy that it's done but yeah thanks so much for watching and if you like this video then please like and subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate it but yeah thanks so much bye bye you follow why won't you follow me home i know i can't make you mind yes i ran out of town there's no hope for me i fell down the bottom so i fell down way deep but if i can't have the real you then let me make a 3d print Like, but I do So you Faded out while I watched it down Obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken Can we be strangers Against our friends Like a morning But what's so bad about that So why won't you follow why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mind Yes, I ran out of town There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print I 
shoot in the dark So I miss my target Is it time to move on? But I cannot I never got it what you had to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the grey The cold but you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you
Love and heartbreak was our life We got drunk and smoked your dead cigarettes Dreamt of a life in a big town Skyscrapers and neon lights
And all I want is to hold you close. And all my stupid friends try hello and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we have another clean with me um and as you can see as always my house is an absolute tip so i'm first of all starting off in my kitchen and if you haven't watched my latest video then you won't know that i've got this big kind of like unit above my sink now for more storage so it's basically just the calyx unit from ikea that i've had in the girls room for a couple of years but i don't need it anymore so I decided to put it in my kitchen and I actually love how it turned out. It's definitely need to repaint it, but love the fact I've got so much more storage. But yeah, how is everyone getting on? I hope you are all doing really well. The weather is actually starting to get a bit nicer here. Tell me if this is the same where you are. I'm actually so buzzing. Like, we've been out in the garden the full day, just like playing and, you know, the kids have just been in and out with the water and like just making potions and all that, you know what I mean, you know what like it is, they're two and three, they just absolutely love anything to do with water. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice here, I'm trying to think if I've been up to anything else apart from that. No, not really, tomorrow, um, so on the 31st, it's actually my dad's six year anniversary since he passed away, I just can't believe it's been six years, like genuinely. Um, so yeah, he was only 54 at the time, so it was a very big shock to us all, but uh, well, what can you do but yeah so tomorrow we're going to probably just go up to the um cemetery and just you know like put flowers down or whatever i'm always trying to go out for like a meal or something like that every year just to celebrate him on the day they died does that sound a bit weird but yeah we do that every year so yeah so i'm feeling probably not the happiest but you know that's just part of it isn't it but yeah so what have you all been up to have you been on holiday because it's now it's now actually the summer holidays isn't it in england for the kids whereas here in scotland the kids have been out for a while so they will be going back to school in august but yeah so on this day i just cleaned the um kitchen and the living room because that was just kind of all i had time for because sean was at work in this day so it was just me and with the kids so this was kind of like Jacob's nap, so I was like, right, let's go on with this. So I just gave the, um, obviously this is the, what it looks like when we don't do the dishes the night before. Plus, don't just hate it when you're finished doing the dishes and someone brings in, like, five plates. Because my son does it all the time and it's really annoying. When he was younger, he used to be so good. He used to always bring his plate out really fast when he was finished. But now, no, it can literally lie there for, like, two or three days and I'm like, I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it. Just, like, you know, try to make a point. But then he eventually will come like out with like five and I'm just like, why? But he has to learn. I am not, I'm not his like bloody maids here. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'm just giving the um, cooker a good wipe down. I need to do this like three times a day. Is that normal? But I just hate messy. I hate it when it looks messy. But yeah, just giving that a good wipe down. And then I need to just like see the amount of dishes there is, but just because we had our dinner later and we never done the dishes that night and it's like well you wake up and then obviously having breakfast and everything else and before you know it it's like an absolute pile and my kitchen is tiny like I am literally putting I'm playing Jenga over here like literally trying to find a place and then um, but yeah now I'm just cleaning the bin I actually did clean it in the sink but I don't know what happened to that to that little clip but I did clean it out I actually hate doing this job I feel like this is this is Sean's job I say this is your job but he went to work early and he never done it. So I hate it. And he did done and I hate it. I don't know why it's like one of my pets. I don't mind doing anything else. But I hate that. And I hate like gardening, cutting the grass and all that. But yeah. So yeah, I'm just putting all these dishes away. And then I'm going to get on to cleaning the sink. Which is honestly my favourite thing about cleaning the kitchen. But yeah, I'm just actually, I start laughing and all that here. Because Jaden, he is like, he's nearly 16. But he's the most sarcastic person like you ever come across like genuinely he's hilarious but he's just so funny but he's so loud like they never always get a son like a teenager like they're just so loud but yeah so i'm just putting everything away and then i'm going to give the um sink a good clean like i said it's my favorite my favorite thing about cleaning a kitchen but i feel like i don't get to do it very often because there's always dishes there but once I give this a good clean, I then just um, give the floor a sweep and then I just give it a mop. And I've been actually been using the, um, what do you call that again? The pink stuff, floor wipes, but they're rubbish. They're actually rubbish. Like, I've got the flash mop thing. I think it's called a flash mop, but you get the flash wipes with it. But Sean being Sean, they're like three pounds. And he's like, let's try these ones first. And they're 99 pounds. Yeah, well, there, there is a reason why they're 99 pounds, because they're rubbish. I actually just use the kitchen cleaner as well, spray it on the floor. 
and it just yeah it makes it a bit better a lot a lot more like soapy and you know you feel you're really getting you're really getting into the dirt but yeah i just hate this floor i hate this kitchen to be honest it's tiny it's just not suitable for a family of six Def this whole house is not suitable for a family of six to be brutally, brutally honest with you but what can you do that is what it is we only moved here like do you know what it's actually been nearly two years now i can't believe that two years but yeah, I'd love to have an up and down stair, but who knows if that will ever happen. The house prices are just ridiculous, though. Absolutely ridiculous at the minute. But yeah, giving this a good mop, and yeah, it feels so good once it's done. And it doesn't take me long. I mean, like I said, it's just so small, so I should really just do this more. But yeah, once I've got that done, I just go on to cleaning the baby's high chair because it was lunchtime, and I realised I had cleaned it from the breakfast. Did anybody else make that mistake? Oh, and you're just like, why did I honestly leave that? Why have I left that? Like, why have I done that? So, yeah. Oh, this is what it looks like after. I mean, I wish it still looked like this, but it definitely doesn't. But, yeah, only the high chair, which is just... I hate this, I hate it. I feel like I say hate a lot in this video, but I hate the high chair. Like, I hate weaning. I hate... um, I hate the whole weaning thing. Like, I love to see the baby, obviously, enjoy food and all that, but the mess. I mean, the mess. It's a lot. It's, it really is. It really is a lot. You're just cleaning constantly. That is your whole life. Oh, look at him there. He's just caught. He's like a light. He has a wee grubber. He has. He, he could eat all day. Honestly, all round the clock. If you'd let, if you'd let him. But yeah, now I'm just putting these toys away, like as usual. Never ending, is it? Anybody else just feel like they're just going round in circles, like all day, every day? Yeah, just me. But what can you do? It's just part of having young kids, but. One day when they're all grown up, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be like, bring, come over here with your gang, with the grandkids, I'll watch them for you. Like, oh, I feel like I'm more genuinely going to pure struggle when they're older. But maybe I will also enjoy it. I need to enjoy, I need to enjoy what can I do? But yeah, now giving this little um, TV thing, well, it's not even a TV stand, I don't even know what, it's just a unit. But actually, it's glass cleaning on this, it is wood, but the glass cleaner really makes it like nice and nice and smooth. Like, there's no uh, like fingerprints or anything from the girls. So, yeah, I just like how that looks. And as my little sidekick, she is honestly, she's never far away from me. Like, she's literally my little best friend. This is little Holly, she's always wants to help, always wants to clean. And yeah, it's just so nice having her here um, and not in nursery. So it's nice to have her home instead of like going to nursery every morning. Like I know it's only like a few hours, but you know, just that relaxing feeling. You don't need to rush out the door. But yeah, I'm just going to give. Oh look at little Sleeping Beauty there. That's Millie having a good old snooze. And then I'm just going to give this living room a quick clean. And then I do decide to actually carpet clean, but I just use the spot cleaner because there were just far too many things. See, to be honest, this carpet is seen it's, it's only about a year old, but it was probably the worst idea to get a carpet with all these kids. We had flooring on underneath it, but I just it was to be scratched and all that, so I'm actually tempted to blow the car, but I'm just like get a sander on that and just sort out that floor. But yeah, just giving it a good hoover. And then I'll just start like spot cleaning because it's like I said, there's just so many stains and, and I can't even get them out. I've tried, but they're just ugh, you ever just feel that way? You feel like your house is pure dirty. Well, even though I know it's not actually dirty, but just feel all the stains from obviously the kids eating their dinner here and all that. But yeah, now I'm just giving it a good old clean. Holly was just desperate to get involved. Does any of your kids love that as well? Just love cleaning like my children, honestly. They love it anytime I'm hoovering and polishing. They just want to be involved. They just love it so much. It's so funny. But oh soon it'll be Jacob, he'll be at my feet joining in. But yeah, I just literally was like washing up liquid or like comfort or whatever I've got on hand in my um carpet machine. Does anybody else do that? Like I genuinely don't I don't even buy carpet cleaner anymore. I just think that it's not, I don't know, I just prefer like washing up liquid. And obviously it's up to you what you use in your machine, but this is what I use. But yeah, now it's done anyway, but it's, I didn't come up that well, but this is what it looks like at the end. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this one. This is a little chatty one. I just started and I just thought, you know what, I can't stop talking tonight. So yeah, that's me. So I hope that you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much, honestly. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. People knew her by her will to make it whatever.
love you, she put a mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone But she knew it no chance when it comes to her she got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you And welcome back to my channel and today I have another clean with me as I'm on this like decluttering journey here and I'm now wanting my bedroom. So if you're new around here my name's Claire, I'm a mum of four children and I'm a stay at home mum at the minute which I absolutely love honestly, I love it so much but it's really 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 hard, really hard work. Um, But yeah, just wanted to make that very clear, it's really hard <laughs> but so it's going to work and coming home and being a mum as well, so hard. But yeah, I'm just starting off and mum said I'm just starting off. I'm only doing my room in this video because it was that bad. Like you would think I just walked in here, just took absolutely everything out of the drawers and off the hangers and just threw it about just for a laugh. But genuinely, this is my life. Is anybody else the same? And it's the toddlers, it's the two-year-old, it's the three-year-old. They're just like they're bloody mental. Honestly, they're crazy. They just literally, they literally come and take everything out and throw it on the floor. But hey ho! But I'm just now decluttering these clothes here. These are a little like set of drawers, and they used to be Jacob's, my babies, and we actually shared a room with him because we're just living like a small three bedroom house, and I've got four children, so that is what it is. But I'm just like decluttered in here and just try to get rid of as much as I can stuff that I've just not wore for absolutely ages there's just no, no point in hanging on to it and then this is all like my summer clothes and I don't really have anywhere else to store them so I just have to like get this drawer and just stick them in there maybe I'll figure something out when the summer is over I'm saying summer I mean to be fair the weather has got a bit better here in Glasgow but it's still pretty bad it's still terrible it's not it's not nice enough to like sit out and have a barbecue or anything like that but that is life that is the UK for you but yeah I'm just um getting rid of a lot of stuff and yeah so how have you all been hope you are all keeping really well and this like I said this weather just makes me want to just makes me think about being on holiday I just so wish that I was back being abroad and me and Sean were actually discussing like we're engaged and we're actually thinking about getting married abroad in like 2026 that's my dream but I have got a bit of an issue because my brother and my sister they both are totally afraid of flying so yeah I don't know how that's going to work out but that's my dream anyway but yeah I hope that you enjoy this little video and it hopefully maybe gives you some motivation and I must admit it feels so good once you've decluttered so yeah let's go on with that you put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitters sink gold I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. 
So I just wanted to give this drawer a little declutter. It's just like one of those drawers that just always becomes a mess. It's like the drawers in my kitchen. I, no matter what I do, it's like a mess. Like literally like a day later. But yeah, I just started trying to give it some sort of like organisation. It's just basically like your perfumes in here. Like any pills that I need to take at night. Jewellery, nail polish, stuff like that. So yeah, like the, the um, perfumes just like fall about all the time but it's not that big a deal so I just decided to declutter this drawer and the one next to it um, and I did declutter the bottom one because that is Jacob's drawer he doesn't actually have a lot of things he doesn't own a lot of clothes or anything like that um, so he just got the big drawer at the bottom and I didn't declutter the middle drawer because it was just like all my pyjamas and I'd done that actually not that long ago so yeah that's what I'm doing here did take the kids out for a little while so that's them all back now so they're just like trying to help me bless them they're just so cute but obviously it does become a little bit hectic because as soon as I make a little pile of clothes they just like you know take it away and put it somewhere else so I did just let them like help me here and um, I just decided to leave it at that and come back to it when they were in bed at night so that's exactly what I've done so if you're thinking if it looks a little bit darker or duller or whatever that is the reason why because you just honestly can't get anything done with these two but they are they're so cute <laughs>
Monday morning blues I open my eyes And I'm greeted by a cute little smile The world is new With you by my side Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon I'm calling you home Just to hear your voice on the phone I think of you And I'm not alone You are everything If you're so bad on this day, I feel like I'm just constantly like rubbing my nose in this video. But anyway, um, putting on the bed cover and I actually messed it up, so it took me it honestly took me ages to fix it. Um, it was just so annoying, but yeah, that was me sorting that out because I'd actually not put a bed cover on this for like three days. Did anybody else do that? Like, you take your bed and off to get it washed, all good intentions, and then the time you wash it all and get it all dried, and then it's like, nah, it's bedtime, I ain't putting that back on. Is that just me? Yeah. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me? watching if you made it this far i really really appreciate it i didn't hoover because the kids were all in bed but yeah that was me done and that's what i managed to get rid of and thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one please don't forget to subscribe goodbye under the palm trees in the california sun sand underneath our feet the morning's just begun Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name's Claire and yeah this is just a little cooking video that I've decided to do and it's actually like I'm trying to get on top of the house because we are actually going away on holiday um, and yeah who else tries to get their house to be like absolutely spotless as if it's ever like that before you go on holiday well that's what I'm trying to do here but yeah, it's um, just starting off in the living room as always and just hoovering up. It actually wasn't too bad underneath the um, cushion covers because the cushions, because I didn't know that long ago. And if you hear anything, I can only apologise, but I've got Jacob with me. He is sitting on my knee, so 
it's kind of the only time I can do it. And baby Millie, oh baby Millie, I say that she's too, she's having a wee sleep and Holly's at nursery, so this is kind of the only time that I can do this. So, yeah, anyway, I hope these are all doing well and these have much planned. I can't believe it's nearly the um, summer holidays here. Well, it is in Scotland anyway. I know England's a little bit um, later on in the year, but yeah, a week left of school, but Jaden's actually missing it anyway because he's in holiday. But I decided to use this wood cleaner, right, this wood polish to clean the table, but it was an absolute fail because I ran out of, um, I ran out of, class at this point and then it was really bad it was like ridiculous show was like what have you done and then it gave me Sephora and I just cleaned it it was really bad but oh no I know I know shh, shh, shh. <laughs> so yeah um but he did eventually this was kind of filmed like throughout the full day so he did eventually go to the shops and eventually picked them up for me so yeah I'm just giving everything a quick clean and just trying to like get on top of it like that is me finally finished packing and oh my god you don't actually realize how much you need when, when you've got like kids and oh my god you're loving a good old talk today aren't you <laughs> um yeah so it's a lot but you know what it'll be fun it'll be fun it'll be worth it but yeah i'm just quickly um giving everyone a good clean and tidy and yeah just hoping that it'll stay like this before we leave so yeah i do hope you enjoy So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love You should know some things will hurt by the way they're coming up pretty handy for when I'm packing I've just put all the baby's um, food in that and it's just like it's so good to keep it like away from your clothes and all that so yeah so if you get like a sheen order just keep all the bags it's brilliant honestly <laughs> none of that packing cubes or anything around here just literally keep your bags but yeah I do actually just do a wee bit in this room and then I have to stop and then um because Millie just woke up from a nap and she was a bit grumpy so I had to sit with her for a wee while so I do kind of like jump and like from room to room and yeah, so that's just why. world is coming down on you, you have to move on, deal with your broken heart, no matter what you think you'll never ever get enough of love.
stay calm But it feels like I'm a ticking bomb Cause I'm crazy for all you You know it's what you say and what you do Do you not just hate that though when you go to like use the microwave and it's absolutely disgusting like that was what happened to me on this day like I genuinely like oh, I forgot that I'd spilt it I'd made noodles for the kids in the um, microwave and that's what happened so yeah that was just absolutely it was just annoying <laughs> literally just so annoying so here I am at 3 in the girls room but I forgot to press record so that was good so um and they wanted their beds put together so if you're wondering why that is that's just because they're besties at the minute well, I'll say that they'll do like a good fight as well but they're best friends as well but um yeah so that's why the room didn't look too mad because I'd already done it Doing 
keep on doing what you do, 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 doing what you like to, what you like to do, do what you like, do what you like to, what you like to do. To express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I would like you just the way you are And you would like me just the way I am And I would like you just the way you are The way you are oh. Keep on doing what you do Doing what you do just keep on doing what you do, keep on doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you like to do, 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 what you like to do. I come to the end of the video now and. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's been a bit hectic with the kids in the background and stuff, but um, yeah. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.